Torah Life Ministries come out of the world. Messiah people seek the truth. Hello, everybody. This is uh, Paul with Torah Life Ministries, and uh, today is a, a very interesting day in my life. Today is exactly four years from the day I got an official divorce. And uh, as a person who uh, spends his time in ministry uh, and the scriptures being so harsh against the idea of divorce and people having such a misunderstanding of the idea of divorce, uh, it's a very complicated topic and also a, a heartfelt one to discuss. And the reason why I wanted to make this video today is uh, because more and more people are continue to contact me about issues that they're having in their marriage and contemplating divorce. And from day one, when I got divorced, one of my great concerns was that people would look at me, somebody who's ministering the word and who understands the Bible to a degree, uh, getting a divorce. And I was afraid that they would think, well, if Paul got a divorce, then it must be okay for me to get a divorce. And, and this is a path that might be the best for me. And that's always been one of my great concerns. And the topic of relationships are very complicated. And the problem is it's, it's, it's not one person. See, you and your relationship with Yahweh, uh, we know he's not changing. And, uh, and, and you can make the decision on where you want to be with Yahweh. But when you're in a relationship with another human being, they have their own thought pattern. And it, it might not necessarily always go along 100% with, with what your thought pattern is. And even if two people are grounded in, in, in Yahweh's word and understanding, they could still have a difference of opinion. And, you know, to this day, I, I still maintain uh, my uh, thoughts on this process. And this is what I explain to people when they contact me uh, for understanding. And somebody said, why would somebody come to you, Paul, for counseling or understanding about marriage or divorce i mean you failed in your marriage why would somebody come to you and i will submit to you highly that one of the uh, best people to come to for uh, advice on relationships is somebody who has failed they can teach you things to look out for you see somebody that has the perfect marriage uh they they have a certain uh, value to that, 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 that they've been able to survive over the years, especially a long marriage. But at the same hand, uh, a lot of times they might not understand some of the challenges that come, come to when everyone's going to have differences of opinions and difficulties, and they might handle it in different ways. But there are some situations people might not have, have had. I know people that are divorced that got divorced for different reasons than I got divorced. And, and some of them, uh, I mean, are justified according to scripture. Uh, some of them decided not to get a divorce and work it out, and both sides were willing to do so. Uh, but regardless, uh, each situation has to be looked at on an individual basis. But the idea is, uh, is the suffering that we go through. Uh, some people don't understand this. And, and it's a very, very personal, heartfelt thing. Uh, when you're experiencing a broken relationship and, and it just, you can be beside yourself of what to do, especially when you have children. And my heart goes out to anyone that's watching this right now. And you're, you're going through relationship difficulties uh, on any level, uh, especially when it comes to, uh, you've made a commitment and a vow to somebody and it might end up in divorce. It's been four years since I took that step. But it wasn't like everything was wonderful and one day I woke up and said, today I'm going to get a divorce. No, it was uh, a very difficult, difficult marriage that I believe I made under a, uh, under a, a, a quick decision without seeking Yahweh. And that was my, my first problem. <laughs> I didn't seek Yahweh. And I just made that decision on my own. And I got no confirmation from him. And... Uh, and I didn't diligently pray to him and, and speak to him and look at the situation. I just made a fleshly decision to try to do the right thing. And, uh, and, 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 and I didn't do the right thing. Regardless, I was committed and I was married for 10 years and committed to my marriage and, uh, and my children. I was faithful to my marriage and committed to my marriage. Uh, and... 
it's not my place or my a desire to expose uh, anything about anyone else uh, for for reasons of any negative emotions or whatever. Uh, the Bible says Yahweh takes vengeance, and your vengeance is His, not mine. I, I, you know, and it's my goal, my my desire, and my my responsibility to learn to have love for every human being, even those that hurt me. Or, or, or unjustified to me. It says to love your enemies, and my ex-spouse uh, is not my enemy, but certainly somebody who uh, has produced hurt within me. But it's my job to learn to love our people we're at difference with, right? So uh, I'm not here to, uh, you know, ever uh, expose anything that uh, were disagreements or, or things. I just know in my heart that uh, the situation was very justified, and and it is what it is. It is what it is. In, in Yahweh's word, it was justified, but it is what it is. Uh, now, uh, I, I got a whole clearer understanding as time goes on about relationships, and I've learned I've learned more about relationships uh, over the last four years than than I ever knew before. And if I knew what I knew then, now, oh, you know what that's saying? Uh, it would be a whole different situation. Uh, getting into a relationship would be a different situation. Uh, maintaining the relationship would be a different situation. And I do honestly believe that uh, if done the right way on those two areas, uh, getting into the relationship and choosing the right person and praying about it and maintaining the right, right relationship according to the structure of Yahweh. And if you get into and, and if, you, if you pick the right relationship, According to his word, you're not going to have any problem maintaining the relationship and the structure of his his word. And divorce will not even be a, an option. It won't even be it won't even be a need for divorce. See, what it comes down to is, and I give this advice not just to young people, but anyone getting into a relationship. When you get into a relationship based on uh, on your own thoughts, your own ideas your own patterns of your own life, your own selfish needs and your selfish wants and what you think is right, your relationship is doomed from the beginning. And then when you're trying to maintain a relationship based on your own, your own, your own, your own, your own, your relationship is never going to flourish the way it could under Yahweh's guidelines and instructions. And many of us make this mistake. And I'll say it again, what I've learned over the last four years and continuously learning, we're always learning and growing. What I've learned over the last four years, and this is important information for those of you that are seeking marriage or seeking to get into a relationship, it must not be of your own way. We must die to ourself, not just with, within a relationship, but even getting before you even get into a relationship, dying to yourself and say, Yahweh, what are your instructions for relationships? What are your instructions? And that's not just for a marriage. That's also for business and everything else. You must have his guidelines and instructions for getting into a relationship. And you must submit to them. You must submit to them. Or at least be willing to submit to them. And then when you find that person or that situation, that, that relationship is going to be created, that person must submit. These are going to be the foundations of our relationship. And you know what? His word is often going to go against some things that you believe. And then from there, you move forward. That's it. That's it. But once you get out of that structure that he's created for marriage, it's, it's not going to work. It can't work. So I, 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 I'm aware of the mistakes that I've certainly made. And I put it all on. I mean, I put a lot of it on me because... I, 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 I didn't know this. Nobody taught me this growing up. I didn't understand this growing up. And, uh, you know, and, and so, but I understand it now clearly. And my advice to everyone out there is, you know, be willing to submit to Yahweh's guidelines and instructions of, of how a relationship is, certain to, uh, is supposed to take place. The structure, the, the, the structure of, of a relationship. Define that and be willing to submit to it. Because it's one thing to know it, but it's another willing to submit to it. And if my 
from what I see, every single relationship that has failed in the history of man has been because one of the two people in the relationship were not willing to submit to the guidelines and instructions of what a relationship should be and how it should be according to our creator. If you stick to that, it's not going to fail. If you stick to that, it's not going to fail. And I'm, I'm excited because I know this now and it's something I've learned too late, uh, too little, too late, right? Uh, but but I, I've learned a lot and I've grown a lot and that's what we all want to hope that we do. And I, I, you know, I think, you know, there, so this information is fine and dandy and wonderful for people that aren't in a relationship or aren't married yet uh, to, to realize this. But what about those people, those of you that contact me that are in a marriage or relationship and you've already gotten a relationship, but one of the people in a relationship, but both of the people in a relationship are not willing to stick to Yahweh's guidelines and instructions on it. Or even worse, you both have a different understanding of what his guidelines and instructions are. And Yahweh's word doesn't uh, have gray areas. They are black and white. We just see it differently based on our experience of life. Well, what do we do then? Do we get a divorce? And that's not for me to answer. Uh, does Yahweh allow it? Uh, is a question I often get. And, 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 and basically, uh, there are, there, the word says what it says. And it's very clear on, 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 on divorce. And I'll leave it at that. So search his word and see what his word says. I'll leave it at that about divorce. And, you know, but, he, you know, but, but that's what we got to think about. Now, there's another question people get. For those of you that are divorced and agree with me or understand what I'm saying is, uh, can you get remarried if you're divorced? And the word's very clear on that also. But there's so much misunderstanding of that. That's probably one of the most misunderstood topics out there. Can you get married if you're divorced? And the Bible is very clear about that. The Bible is very clear about that, and there's a big misunderstanding about it. And and, and absolutely, you can. And, and we got the example of our uh, of our very own Creator divorcing Israel, <laughs> and then this marriage that's going to happen again. So absolutely, you can. Now, who, where, what, and how you can get remarried? That that's that's it is defined in Scripture very clearly. And uh, so so and, and here's another thing I want to tell people, and and something I've learned. It's okay not to get married again. It's okay to be single. This is one of the uh, greatest things I've, I've learned in the last four years. Being single is, is fine. and In some ways, it's a blessing because you get more time to spend with Yahweh. You don't need to get married ever or again if that's Yahweh's path for you. Don't rush anything and don't Slow down anything. Don't get out of Yahweh's plans for you. And he will speak to you. He will speak to you. He will. Some people say, I don't hear him. Be still and know that he is Yahweh. Trust him and listen to him. Listen to him. I'm happy to report after four years of divorce, uh, uh, I'm doing okay. And I don't wish divorce on anyone out there. It's very, very difficult uh, to deal with. And it is emotional trauma in, 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 in the whole situation, from the children all the way to the situation of what comes up and, and friends and people taking sides and all of this. It's just not, it's not good. But again, if both sides are willing to choose their or, or find their, their spouse and, and, and submit to Yahweh's will in, in his ideal for what a relationship should be, I'm not going to say, like, I don't want to say divorce is not an option because it's out there, but it's not something that's even thought about. It's not something that's even considered because why would you, if everything's going according to Yahweh's plan, why would you say, well, I'm going to stop this and do it this way? No, you wouldn't, you wouldn't do that. So, uh, so, you know, I'm enjoying my, my, my singlehood and I look forward to everything that Yahweh has in store for me for the future. And, you know, and, and, if it be so, he's preparing a bride for me to submit to his will. Uh, I welcome what he what he offers me. And if it's not, I welcome that as well. Uh, I'm more at peace and in tune with his word now than I've ever been in my life. And it's through my mistakes and my trials that that brought me to this place. And, uh, you know, so, you know, you know, Dave Ramsey, a fellow I listen to about a lot of times about 
uh, money and says, you know, if you make a mistake, you could you can get down on yourself or you can look at it as an expensive lesson. And this was a very crucial lesson in my relationship mistakes. And oh, since I've been divorced, I'll be the first to admit I've made relationship mistakes. I've made relationship errors. And you know, and I'm not I'm not happy uh, about about some of the mistakes I made. And uh, but but you know, I've repented and I've persevered and uh, and, re and changed my understanding about these things. And it's so clear, so clear. It's it's amazing how blind somebody could be uh, when when they when they make decisions not based on Yahweh's word, and then how clear it, it is once you do. So I, I pray for you, my heart goes out to all of you out there, and uh, thank you all for your prayers and everything that you've given me over these years. And uh, I'll continue to give you these updates and help you all with, uh, hopefully these videos are helping you, just sharing my experience with divorce. And I remember, here's one more thing I want to say is, uh, when I was going through it, the thick of it, and, and going through it, I spoke to some brothers that ha had already went through it prior to me, and years prior to me, not like freshly, but years prior to me. And they all told me this, Paul, I understand what you're going through now. But there will come a time in the future where you're going to be okay. You're going to be a place that's going to, you're going to be at a whole different place emotionally, spiritually, and everything. It's going to work out fine. Whatever happens, you know, now, we'll, you know, it's not going to stay like that forever. And now four years after my divorce, I, I say that to others. It's going to work out fine. If you're going through it now, uh, it's not always going to stay where, you, where you're at emotionally wise. You will persevere. And the Yahweh's uh, in the habit of making things right uh, on every level and cleaning things up. So submit your will to him in all ways and let him uh, guide your paths. All right, everybody. Thank you again for your prayers and put your comments, questions below and shalom, shalom. Come out of the world, oh my people. Seek the truth, avoid the evil. Learn Yahweh's ways. Torah life ministries. Come out of the world, 